It's my pleasure to introduce this next presentation on creating an optimal work living space for researchers, designing interiors focusing on people's needs in extreme Antarctic isolation by Hubert Maczynski, Demerg Project, Poland. My name is Maciej Biedermann. I am a designer and I was invited by Demiurk, developer of design and construction project, to design the interior of the Polish Antarctic station. Our goal is to create an optimal work living space for researchers that will live in the station. Before the whole process started, we had to determine the main problems of such a facilities where the people spend months in isolation and extreme condition. We also focus on the issue of the current Polish Antarctic station. Our main insight is that, in general, previous tragedies of design spaces located in extreme environment hardly ever took into account the needs of their habitants. The main focus was usually on their functional and technical purpose. In our project, we would like to pay more attention to the condition of life during the mission because the influence work efficiency and of course the well-being of inhabitants. Such an approach focused on the needs of users requires experienced partners in the fields of psychology and interior design. That is why Vox will work with scientists from the University of Social Science and Humanities during the interior design process. My name is Julita Meinczak and on behalf of Vox I will explain our approach to this unusual task. Using the existing research results, we have determined predominant problems that people living in polar isolation have to deal with. And our strategy is to involve in the process people who lived or currently live in the Polish Antarctic Station. All of the members of the Polish Antarctic Mission belong to the Western culture and spend their lives in specific European natural surrounding. During their mission, they are deprived of the majority of incentives they are used to in their everyday life. And that has to be taken into account while designing the whole space. We are at the beginning of the process, but our first ideas to solve the determined problems are based on the assumption that the interior of the Polish Antarctic Station should be adjusted to all five senses – touch, smell, vision, taste, hearing. Calming or activating the senses in the right proportions is something that people miss during long-term isolation. And that is why we will incorporate some ideas of the synesthetic design into the main design process. Summary. The final effect should provide a functional space that will, in a natural way, support the people living there in the long-term isolation. It should also complement the shortages of this particular survival environment.